Hi, welcome. Today I wanted to talk about MongoDB query, uh, what are called covered queries with indexes. So let's get quickly started. So basically I have a query here on a collection called funny numbers and I'm just doing a find for values greater than 87 and you can see that it returns uh, some, per, uh, some documents for that. If you wanted to see how efficient this query is, uh, we can run it through the explain command and uh, let's just take a quick uh, look. So it is doing an index scan which is very good and uh, the name of the index has value which is one of the indexes I have created. And uh, one thing to note during the execution status is that it examines 16 keys and the number of documents examined is also 16. So uh, how can we possibly improve upon this given that the value is an index? So basically it, uh, what we can do is uh, have uh, our query return which is called a covered query. Uh, that means that it doesn't really have to scan the document to find the values to return. So I have a sample query which is essentially a covered query. So let me uh, just paste that and see and I'll explain it to you in a second. Uh, so if you look at this query, basically it's saying value greater than 87, which is the same query. And in the projection, it is changing it so that the value, I'm just returning the values in the documents and I'm not returning the ID. You have to do that because if I had to look at the ID, it's not part of that index uh, and it won't be able to find it. So this is called a covered query where you can return the information just from the indexes. So if I run this, for example, with an all explain, and uh, if you would look at the execution stats, here you can see that the total documents examined is zero. So this is actually a very, very fast query. So that's pretty much all you need to know about covered queries. If you want to know more about MongoDB or things like that, I will add this video in the MongoDB uh, covered query. Thank you and you have a great day.